Hi everyone, welcome to another brand new episode. I'm so grateful to have you all back here. My name is Jackson, if you are new here, and I welcome you to this big family. Thank you so much for liking and sharing my channel with your family and friends. Today's episode, I'll be sharing five universities that are within GRE and GMAT for Masters of Science programs in Computer Science. If you are interested in a video like this, then check it out. So the first computer science master's program we'll talk about is from the University of Massachusetts Amherst. And here are the application deadlines. If you want to apply for spring 2023, you have to apply by October 1st. And if you want to apply for fall 2023, you have to apply by 15th December. So now let's check out the admission requirements for the master's program. But please take note that submission of GRE score is optional for the fall 2023 start term. Choosing not to submit score will not harm applicants' chances of admission. So please take note that it is optional to submit your GRE score. So these are the things you have to do. First and foremost, you have to complete your online application and you submit your personal statement. And the next thing you do is you submit your transcript, that's your unofficial transcript during your application process. But after you gain admission, you have to submit your official transcript. And then after, you submit two letters of recommendation. If you are an international student, you have to submit an English proficiency score if you were not taught in English language. Then you take note that GRE test score is optional for the master's program. So now let's check out the financial aid section of this school. So for a graduate student, you can get loans, you can get assistantship in the form of teaching and research assistantship. You can also get a teach grant, federal work study. You can also get summer aid and then study abroad. So I entreat everybody to check the financial aid section for more information. So the second computer science master's degree we'll talk about is from the University of Texas at San Antonio. And here are the admission deadlines. If you want to apply for fall application period, you have to apply by April 1st. For spring, you have to apply by September 15th. Dates for summer are not available. So now let's check out the admissions and applications requirements. So you need a recognized degree from a university or a college. You need a minimum of 3.0 out of 4.0 scale. You also need an 18 credit hours. Then you submit your transcript and all your transcripts should be translated to English language. Then you are required to have your transcript evaluated. If you are not taught in English, you have to submit your TOEFL or IELTS score. Then a purpose statement is required. Then you also have to submit your resume. Then two letters of recommendation should also be submitted. So now let's check out the scholarship available in the Department of Computer Science. These are all scholarships that are available. Applicants can inquire later from the department directly. I entreat you to check out the department's website for more details. So the third computer science master's program we'll talk about is from the University of Minnesota. So now let's check out the application deadline. This program only accepts four applications, so to apply for four, you have to apply by March 1st. So now let's check out the application instructions. All applicants must apply online. And then let's take note on the GRE requirements. We do not require or accept GRE scores as part of the application process. The following material should be included in your graduate school application. So, you need to upload your personal statement or statement of purpose. You need to also upload a diversity statement. You can get more details about what you have to include in that on their website. You also need to submit your transcripts. So your transcripts should be unofficial transcripts and then you should upload it directly onto the admissions application portal. And then you have to also get your language test scores if you are not taught in English language. Then you also need three letters of recommendation. So you have to provide the names and email address of your recommenders. And then you need your resume or CV. And that you have your educational background and your work experience. 
So the following items are optional items you can include in your application. So you can include your diversity statement, estimating circumstance statement, your writing samples, and description of research. So now let's check out the funding opportunities that are available in the university. So you can get to research and teaching assistantship from this university. You can also get loans from this university. You can also get fellowships opportunities from this university. So I entreat every prospective student to check out the funding section of the university for more details. So the fourth master's program we'll talk about is from the University of Virginia. So here are the application deadlines. Applications received by February 1st, 2023 will receive full consideration. Whereas application received by March 31st will be reviewed on space available in the incoming class. So please take note and apply before February 1st, 2023. So here are the application requirements. So you have to have at least some basic information in computer science. Admissions are offered to people with GPA of at least 3.3 out of 4.0. So please take note. And now to the good news. GRE scores are optional. So GRE is not required. So you need to submit your letters of reference. So if possible, you have to get letters of reference from your university if attended. Then you need an IELTS score if you were not taught in English. So these are the basis for evaluating your application, background in computer science, the GPA, GRE in our instance is optional, letters of reference, personal statements, then IELTS score if you are not taught in English. So now let's talk about financial aid. According to their website, the school does not offer full financial aid to master students, but will often award small financial fellowships. So please take note that there's no need to submit a separate application to qualify for this fellowship. You can also get outside loans and also apply for fellowships externally. So you can visit the website for more information. So the final computer science master's program we'll talk about is from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And here are the application deadlines for computer science master's program. If you want to apply for spring admissions, you have to apply by October 1st. If you want to apply for fall admissions, you have to apply by February 10th. And here are the graduate school application process checklist. So you have to complete and submit an online application. You have to pay an application fee of $60 if you're an international student. You also have to ask individuals who will provide you references to submit them via online on the application portal. And also request one official transcript to be mailed to the school directly. So you can find the school's address on their website. And then you submit a language proficiency test score if you were not taught in English. So here's the general admissions requirements for this program. You have to at least submit a TOEFL score if you are not taught in English. Your GPA should be 3.0 out of 4 at least in a computer science course. You have to have a clear statement of study plan. And then you hold a strong academic background in computer science and mathematics and then a proof of class ranking is optional but is strongly recommended so please take note when you're applying and now to the good news financial aids are available in the form of teaching assistantships research assistantships and fellowship so please take note that all students are automatically considered for financial assistance so students should not contact the department for any information on potential financial assistance. The department does make financial assistance available so kindly take note.